Hey Floss Tube, wanted you guys to meet the new puppy. Here she is. This is London Kate. She's a little Maltese. She is about two and a half pounds of love. And she's a little over two months old. She was born on August the 4th. So she's just a little fur ball of fun. Her personality is hilarious. She rules the roost. We've got um, my golden doodle and my son's golden doodle both here. And London is by far the alpha dog with those great big golden doodles. So that's a fun, nothing better than puppy kisses and puppy breath. <laughs> this is London. Hey Floss Tube, hope you guys are having a great stitching week. Hope you're getting a lot of fun stuff done. Hope you're recuperating from your 24 hours of stitching for those of you that participated in that. Uh, I did not get as much stitching done as I wanted to over the weekend, but I'm making up for it now. Oh, uh, this week has been all consumed with puppiness and just spending time getting to know the new puppy, getting that potty training going. She's doing a really good job and just having fun. So that's been my week. As far as television, let me see. Still liking This Is Us. My husband and I recorded a couple of the new series that have come out, but we um, haven't had time to watch them yet. So hopefully we'll get started on a new one. Madam Secretary is a show that I really like and they started again this past week. And the way it started, I was like, oh my goodness, she must be dreaming, she must be dreaming. But then it went back in time to explain how they got to that point. So Madam Secretary is my favorite uh, old show that has just started back. So um, looking forward to sharing with you what I've worked on. And I just wanna thank all of you guys that have subscribed, liked, commented, all that good stuff. And here we go. I don't know if I've shown you a couple of pieces that I did when I first got back into cross stitching. This was just a white rose, white DMC, on the black Ada. Got me ready for that chalk on the farm stitching. This is one of the Hobby Lobby kits that was on clearance last summer, a year ago last summer. A little pair, I need to finish it cute for the kitchen. Here. We've got her playing with Jack's jack-o'-lantern that's taken out of the middle of that pattern. So I'm just using some hand dyed with a fabric, even weave. Actually, this is Ada, sorry, 18 count Ada. With purple and pink writ dye, I took out the middle pumpkin for playing with Jack's because I did the fall pumpkin on my big pattern. And so I just wanted to do the little jack-o'-lantern face and finish it separately on this. So getting close to finishing that one, just three different colors on that, actually four, because there's gonna be one little sparkle in the eye. So that's fun. Really been busy on my bygone stitches, One Nation. tired of this one. I just kind of put this one to the side. I have to do all this middle stitching for this portion and then all the emblems along the side. Some of them I'm changing. So there's that one. Just kind of tired of that for now. This is my By the Bay Needle Art the Nantucket Village. This is part three. I'm doing parts three, four, and five of this. It's looking really cute. This fabric is so fun to stitch on. It's Jobelin Summer Sky 32 count and it is so nice to stitch on. 
that looks like a little clouds, like the little blues and whites. It's hard to tell on the screen, but I really like the way the stitches. 32 count. My other piece is my Autumn Quakers that I'm on 28 count doubloon. And for those of you that have been with me, I have restarted this. This is now my fourth time to restart this project. This last time I started in the middle, which is what I should have done with all my pieces all along, just to make it where I have a, a safety margin. And this is part five and six, right in the big middle of the fabric. So I am, I just converted my own colors from the Valdani threads. I just looked to see what was close with my Victorian model threads and that's what I used for this one. So lots of fun. I talked about maybe starting the Wizard of Oz stitch along um, from Owl Stitchery and I have not done that. I'll probably save that for later. There's some other things that I want to start. Cinnamon Stars is one that just keeps coming to mind as being one that I really would like to start with because I like that one a lot. So I just wanted to thank you guys for stopping in, spending time with me. I know this one was quick, but I wanted to get the London introduction on this. Some of you have been asking and y'all are so sweet and um, supportive. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for your comments. I appreciate each and every one of them. So until next time, bye guys.